Hey everyone, it's Michael here. I've been reading through Colossians recently and it's been very convicting. I think too often we think that when we become Christians, we're bringing Christ into our lives. But in reality, we become Christians so that Christ takes over our lives. Christ is not some kind of useful tool that helps us live better, but instead we have died to our former way of life and we have a new life that is in Christ, who is our savior and the king of our lives. That's why Colossians 3, two through four says, Set your minds on the things above, not on earthly things, for you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is your life, appears, then you also will appear with him in glory. I think we get a, a lot of our wrong thinking from the idea that we will only experience God's kingdom in the future, after we die. But that's not biblical. More than any other topic, Jesus talked about the kingdom of God. And he always taught that the kingdom was present, it was a present reality. So James Bryan Smith writes in his book, The Good and Beautiful Life, the kingdom of God is a present reality that will be fully consummated in the future. It is here and is as real and powerful as it will ever be. Everything Jesus said about the kingdom is true in our lives. Yes, one day it will be the governing power over the entire universe, but for now, it is intended to be the governing power over you and me. I think that quarantine makes us feel like we're at a standstill as if things can't get better, or that we can't live our lives until conditions improve around us. But in fact, our minds are supposed to be set on heavenly things, and even if earthly situations stand still, we're still called to put off old habits of life and live in a whole new way that's independent of what's going on around us. That's why Colossians 3, 9 through 10 says, you have put off the old self with its practices, and if you put on the new self, you are being renewed in knowledge according to the image of your creator. So I'm going to challenge you. If you want to know what this new life looks like, read on and meditate on Colossians 3, 12 through 17. This passage gives a picture of what this new life of living in God's kingdom really looks like. Let's pray. Dear Lord, I pray that you would teach us what it means to live as your children, not caught up with the lies and the lifestyle of this world. You are so good to us. You free us from our sin. You free us from our fear. You free us from ourselves to find new life in you. You alone bring purpose in living. And I pray that everyone here at Palms West Presbyterian Church would find this purpose through life in you. We lift this up in Jesus' name. Amen.